Yeah. We finally did it. We're live? We are, are live. We are, we, live? Yeah. we are live. It took Hold on, let me bring up your stream chat so I can <laughs> Oh yeah, I can I can open that up on my second It only Spy took on us what head. a month and a half to, <laughs> to get a sh- <laughs> to get the the show rolling. We did this like twice just off the cuff. Yeah, we went for like probably for like 6 hours total. Like, like now we're not going to have anything to talk about because we talked about all this stuff already. I'm talking about how big of a bitch you are. Got him. Why did that Wait, just... Who, who got got? You, you, you did. Not you. You. What the hell didn't? Did. All right. <sighs> so, where, where what's going, I? you guys? What's going on? What's like, happening? What's Aaron, Aaron, you're my top. You're like up top left. You're a bottom and I'm a top right now. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I mean, that, and that sounds Newman's to, yeah. my, <laughs> to, Newman. my, to my right. It's my right. It is right on the screen. I think it's left on the screen. No, it's right on the. I don't know. It's right on the screen. Fuck okay. it. Oh, God. I got to I gotta meet. I got to meet you. Oh, my God. That's fair. That's how I feel when you, I read anything. No. Well, I'm on the. Uh, God, I like so. Oh, these colors look terrible. All right. I got your chat up. It's, it's really zooming right now. So. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I can keep up. It looks the same. It just looks like you. No, but like on your, uh, on the thing, I just look so like red or pink. On on, on Twitch. Over here, fashionistas. I look like shit, but I look. You're just talking about how shit. you're gonna shave your head. Are you cutting yeah, it or we'll gonna cut shave? Shave. Uh, I not like buzz cut or anything. I usually get like a inch on top and just like a fade on the sides. Bald fade. Uh, just because I have. Uh, not too bald, no. Oh. I'd never go too bald. I'll, I did that once on accident <laughs> in high school. I used to cut my own hair because a uh, poor life. I would just get clippers, just get the smallest size, boop, cut it off. One day I did that, but I got cheap cl- clippers, and then the, the head fell off. Oh, so you then just... just straight clipper, fucking... Sh- and d- this is like cartoonistic. Literally straight down the center. <laughs> oh, I, like, I like put it on, and I was like... Zzz, wait, and then the, the thing fell off, and then I had a like... Just a line straight down the middle. You know what that kind of reminds me of? No, I don't know what that reminds me of. Matt's haircuts he got. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he yeah got, you, know, it was, you can tell. If you want to tell, you can about what was happening with your right, hairline. So, well, f- well, okay. First, like, how do I get your chat open? I'm just like watching. Uh, go to his Twitch right and in the yeah, chat yeah, like side at the bottom, you'll see a cog. Click it and it says pop up, pop out chat at the bottom. E. Pop up. Pop it just says pop out player. What the hell is that? I don't like that. No, it's just like pop that. out something, but you don't see the shit. chat on the right side of the screen. It's not there. No. What? Oh, wait, what is this? One? Are you on I, like the Twitch app or are you on the, the website? I'm on, I'm on Chrome. I'm struggling. That's what I am. You need. Never mind. Never mind. Hold on. <laughs> I can I, I can send you. Oh, I, can... I got it. I got it. Okay. I got. It. I had to click expand. We're good. This guy has a degree in engineering, by the way. Hey yeah. man, why not have time for all this streamer nonsense? Yep, I'm right there. <laughs> That's funny. But yeah, so tell tell um, us about about your uh, hair hair mishaps there, Matt. Yeah. Oh, okay. 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 Let me let me just. It'll, it'll just be easier to sh- tell with the. Uh, Oh my pictures God. Here. I, I could probably go through my Facebook and find a billion embarrassing pictures of myself. I all my, well, okay, my Instagram, so I don't delete photos, so I have everything from when I started Instagram in like freshman year of high school. Yeah, same. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I also am in that that uh, group that's fine with just accepting that I was <laughs> cringy as fuck. <laughs> yeah, you're like, oh fuck, I was weird as hell, but hey, that was me. It was it. me. All right, so. It first started with, um, I was, when I was young, I had like a, your, your typical like bowl cut, right? You're like, wait, when you guys were younger, did you guys have like a, a set hairstyle or was it like something would change all the time? I think no, I was... it literally looked like any one of the characters from Stranger Things. I just like, it was straight across. It just was terrible. When I was like, <laughs> before like fifth grade, I was a, like a one on the sides and a two on the top. And then in fifth grade and f- until like freshman year of high school, I was a uh, like Justin Bieber flick my hair. That I had that in high school too. And then one day but I like, just like went a one on everything and it looked fucking horrible. And then I grew it out a little bit and then I just had like where it was like this length and I didn't do anything with it. And then I was like, 
it I look like shit all the time, and it still doesn't look great, but I feel like it just looks better than what it looked like. So let me see if I can pull up some pictures. So in high school, again, I had the the hair flip, you know, like I hair down beneath my eyes, and then um, I I pretty much buzzed it off senior year just because I don't know felt like it, and then as time went, so. Originally, I had like a hard part off to the side, and it just like kept on getting. I think every single time I got it cut, they just like accidentally made it a little bit higher and higher and higher to the point it was like literally on top of my head. Yeah, he had a hard and I was part like, in the e- center of his head, so it was just like full hair here, no yeah, hair. I'm trying here. to find it. Uh, it was it was not a good. It kept look, getting pushed. But, he like had the hard part well, where he wanted it to be. That the, the problem was the problem that about that was. It, yeah, I'm trying to find it. The problem about that was the fact that, like, I, you don't notice it because it was so small. You know, it was, it just was over the years. It just, like, finally, and then all of a sudden it was like, why is my hard part up here? You know, because I was, I think, uh, like, you know, Facebook or something like that probably gave me, like, a, a memory. And it was like, hey, look at this picture. I was like, hold on. Yeah, and then he showed me, and I started dying laughing. It was we need to find a good one of these. Um, Are you guys both looking? Yeah, we're both just looking on our phones. This is a good streaming right here. I know. Uh, Well, unfortunately for me, uh, my hair has always been very. When it gets long enough, it's just for me unmanageable. Uh, Oh, here, like I can't style my shit. Oh, my camera's up here. I forgot about that. Look, what the fuck is? <laughs> yeah, I have never seen a haircut like that, dude. You showed me that, and I started dying. I was like, "Yo, no shot, they did that to you." But Wait, was that like your decision, or was that like a parental decision? No, that so that was that was, that was okay. Last, like, that year. was the me decision. <laughs> but the thing was, my, my my hard part was off to the side, and just every month that I got a haircut, it just like slowly got pushed up. I I didn't notice it until again. Because it was so, it was such a small movement every single time. And then Facebook came out and was like, "Here, look at this picture from you two years ago." I was like, "Hold up, that doesn't that doesn't look the same." I don't know Facebook. I don't know like, if we can fucking share this one. <laughs> well, oh I, I did share because it, it, I like I realized I was like, "Hold on, this is uh, this is not um, right." You're like, wait, what yeah, you, happened? You. You've been so kind and brave. I know this is great content. We're all on our phones right now. <laughs> I'm going to see if I can find the most embarrassing picture. Okay. Yeah. I think here here was me with my haircut as a little kid. You just look like a little, little fucking kid. Like yeah. any generic ass fucking right. little kid. Oh, why? Because I'm white? Do we all look the same to you, huh? Jesus. <laughs> I didn't say anything. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you know what? Wrong. I don't think Pretty this much. one's embarrassing. I don't to say that on stream. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think this is embarrassing, but this is like 10 years ago. The internet is terrible. Yeah, it's starting to cut out. I remember this picture. Yeah, uh, because oh. my hair is super long, uh, I would just fuck with it whenever I was bored at a friend's house. Just do what? That's not embarrassing. Facebook said, "Here is a picture from five years ago," and it was so stupid. I deleted it. <laughs> we have someone in the, in the comments who is feeling our pain right now. Yeah, Michael. I have Michael. the most emo sad picture that I wish I could like forget, and I just need to find it. Oh my! Yeah, look. Wait, wait. I feel like I'm gonna be racist if I say you look like fucking Bruce Lee. <laughs> look at that. You're not wrong. You, oh wow, you you actually crushed that Bieber look though, dude. That's what I'm saying it was it was, it was all me, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. I was I also did a faux hawk for a little bit when I started playing soccer. It was horrible. I, I don't even know if I have pictures of it. I thought I looked so good. <laughs> Unfortunately, I could never style my fucking hair. It was just so fucking long, and and like if I ever let it out, it would. Oh, here we are. Here's the most embarrassing. This is not even a hairstyle. This is just me being super emo in high school. Oh my gosh! I'm gonna see it. Oh yeah, um, brother. <laughs> yeah, crushing it. You look like the knockoff Hobson. I I look like I would beat this kid's ass if I crossed <laughs> him on the sidewalk. <laughs> oh, All right, so oh, I have this. Uh, oh, look at that. Hell yeah. Looking Prince, Princess Leia looking <laughs> Princess motherfucker. Leia, yeah. <laughs> so this is before I put the hard part in and off to see like 
it wasn't all jacked very up. Standard, yeah. Is that Travis Scott? No, that's uh, ASAP Rocky. Is it really? I couldn't tell in the picture. No, that's ASAP Rocky. We all look the same, right, Aaron? Yep. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> there it is. I think it was just the hairstyle looked like more like Travis Scott's hair. Yeah. Yeah, the little twisty, yeah. twisty style. I'm used to I know like Isaac Rocky has that, but the that one just looks more like uh, but they both no. they're pretty much they, twins if you really think about it. Were you guys always not- in control of your like fashion sense at a certain point? Was there a point where you realized that you looked like a fucking doof earlier in life? Like it just oh, yeah. dawned on you? I I, mm, well, I growing up, I had one pair of shoes I had to wear for throughout the whole year. It was like I got a pair of shoes for basketball, and then once basketball season was over, I wore them for my yeah. normal shoes until the for the rest of the year. And then um, that's just how it was for years and years. But I, I I noticed I wore I got a nickname in high school when I played fall baseball was red because apparently I wore a lot of red because I had a lot of Jordan stuff. Like shorts and shirts, and they're all like black, white, and red. So I just had a bunch of red there. But I like matched. I don't know if it looked good, but I would always try to like match colors. Not like green on green, but like if I had shorts that had like, that were black with like green stripes, I would be like, oh, I'll wear a green shirt with this. And then what, you know what I mean? Like that kind of thing. But I'm not saying it looked good. I just thought, I thought I was like, yeah, we're matching. Let's go. But I was like, it really wasn't great. I used to wear ties in high school, called it Tie Tuesday. I wore tie dye once. A girl made it for me, so I was like, "Fuck it, I'll wear it." You say tie or tie dye? Tie. Oh, I wore tie dye. There was a kid that uh, wore. Was so there was a kid in in my uh, yeah. high school. He was known for wearing bow ties like every day. Yeah, dude. I at my not. school, we had a, a kid that had to be fucking like four foot, goddamn five, like his entire life. Short and king. He had short liber- king. He had liberty spikes. That. So he had like his hair probably added about a foot of height on him, <laughs> but he also carried around a fucking unicycle and he was a punk, like Hell punk yeah, dude. dude. <laughs> so yeah, he'd have the fucking at the time, like a green day shirt or whatever the fuck. And then fucking giant Liberty spikes. And then he would just be walking like through the hall where a, a backpack and like strap in one hand over his shoulder and then a fucking unicycle in the other. And it's like, what the fuck is this kid's story? He doesn't you know. It, it's funny. Like you people understand. probably you know, like I'm sure people made fun of him in back in high school, but you got to respect people like that, that they're just, they're just skipping to their, their own beat. Like they didn't care. And I, I you know, looking back now, it's kind of like, I wish, I wish I did that. I wish I really didn't care. Um, yeah, it wasn't. It was like years later. I would like. Sorry, it was like a fucking a boat parking outside my fucking apartment. Is that the pickle tree outside. Uh, no, it took like years after high school that I started to. You get that like. Why do I give a fuck about everyone else's opinion about shit? As long as I like enjoy the shit I got and uh, like I'm responsible and stuff. It's like I don't give a fuck what people think. Yeah. You'll find friends who also feel the same way, and then just are cool with your fucking nonsense so like yeah respect to people in high school who had such a standout fucking like just personality or whatever and then they own that shit a lot earlier than other people did i don't think i have pictures from high school or that i have in high school did you guys have uh the jocks who pretty much like just hit their peak in high school that you ever met later in life Oh, <laughs> not you. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I didn't peak in high school. I'm still, I'm still getting better. You know what I mean? Aaron no. peaked in middle school. No, we had a small, <laughs> we had a small that fucking Bieber cut. I mean, in Indiana, where I'm from, and I don't mean to say this to like be rude to like friends and family. A lot of people from my hometown all peaked in high school. That feels kind of sad to hear someone say that. <laughs> I, I feel that, though. I mean, it's just like you don't leave your town. Like, there's no, it's not that it sounds bad, but it's just like small town. No one leaves. No one does anything more. It's just I get that. I get that, though. Yeah, yeah. I understand that feeling. It's like I'm in Cincinnati right now. You know, I'm in Ohio. And it's just like I haven't really been back to where I to where I grew up in years. Just he cutting out for you too really have a desire to it's nice to you know get out i mean obviously i'm oh yeah sorry 
Could be my internet. No my power went out earlier. So. He is a few seconds behind his video, too. <laughs> Cincinnati power, man. Yeah, maybe you should Sorry. go back to your hometown. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Don't return. That's bad. Maybe. No, uh, no, I get that. I get that, though. It's like small town. People just want to grow up and like move back and be a teacher at yeah. the same town that they grew up in. You know, and if people, if that's what people want, then that's what people want. But there's just, there's a little bit more out there than just small Illinois, small Indiana, you know? Yeah. You really be yeah, like I that. Like, I feel like I'm a little of column A and B because I was born in Arkansas, but... I only spent like the first couple years of my life there. And then um, my family moved like every about four years or so until, which is like what, two times until I made, made it to California. Mm -hmm. And that's where I kind of like at that age, teenager mm -hmm. and like, it's kind of able to be on my own, but I've been here in California since I was like, like eight or so. Yeah. So I feel like I grew up here and I have not like done much to get out of California. Well, but at the same time, I'm like, I'm not from Arkansas and, or I didn't grow up there and I know Arkansas suck where I was born. At least Jonesboro is like, I would be a, a, on farmlands right now, taking care of fucking cows or something. If I yeah. stayed All back where but, I was born. But like, I also, th just for me personally, I understand after people from Aaron and I's hometown don't leave. See that Michael agrees. Um, but I, I don't, when I say like, oh, leave your hometown, I'm not talking, like if your hometown is San Diego, don't yeah. fucking leave that shit. That's fucking bad. Like, you know what I mean? Like, oh, I live in a place that's super nice. But like we live in like Indiana is just like right now, I think there's like heat advisories and it's like probably 90% humidity. You're fucking, you walk outside and you, it's, you, there's a swamp in your ass cheeks right now. Okay. <laughs> disgusting but Jesus. i like that yeah you know and then um, the I only like time that. that's nice is like right when it becomes fall for like two weeks and then it gets to the point where you don't want to be outside anymore because it's too fucking cold and then it's right. winter where you get snow it's not the worst winters but it's still like you get a four or five month winter and it fucking sucks and oh there's another friend from actually i might have a picture of him of me and him but uh we do need to play fall guys together you're right uh, and you know it is ass there see i think even if you were born in California, I think there's value in spending some time outside of where you're born. Yeah. It doesn't mean you have to stay out of right. California. Maybe this is this is probably like probably one of the chillest fucking states to live in. Like culturally. Not if you ask people on, from Indiana. Views, depending on your views. <laughs> no, I, I well, I think the general feeling of like go go see what it's like somewhere else for a little bit. Yeah. Gives you a little more perspective because I feel like I've met tons of people who are like California native, like through and through, who are somehow the most stuck up fucking people or like no patience or just kind of like crude fucking assholes. And it's like, Jesus Christ, dude, fucking go see a little more world. Go see like even <laughs> one point more world. Go see one more. Yeah. That's I think, I think it's just really that. about getting out of your comfort zone i mean i think a lot of people the reason why they go back to their hometown is just because they know they know everyone there they know the local you know coffee shop people they know the police officers they know yeah. the teachers they know they just they know everyone there so they feel comfortable and i yeah. think that that you know it's nice but like when i moved here i mean i i knew Kristen, and that was that was about it and you know it's it, it's difficult as aaron i'm sure you're you're dealing with you know when yeah. you when you moved around it's well, like the thing with me is I'm more like, I, I mean, I, what I did growing up was play video games with friends online, even the people in my hometown. So what do I do now that I'm an adult? I play video games with friends online. Like, you know what I mean? Like, but, and I was already like, play with me. like well, I, you suck. So I don't want to, um, but, <laughs> um, All right, but, I'm out of here. but, but no, so like the thing was like, living in indiana yeah it was comfortable but i was still fucking miserable and like not that i'm like struggle with depression struggle with all that shit i'm struggling with that in indiana it's not helping me being in that comfort zone have i really made a lot of progress no but i've made steps here and there but like if i'm gonna be miserable anywhere why not be miserable somewhere where it's fucking perfect weather 24 7 
and I can just go outside and like actually get fresh air instead of, oh, I'm fucking miserable. Let me look outside. Oh, it's fucking 10 degrees and it's snowing. I don't want to go outside. That's even fucking worse. It's always gray in the Midwest. Yeah. During it's, winter. it's just uh, gray outside. Until you sometimes once like every like five years, there'll be a random day where the, everything will just be bright yellow shaded. Like a weird, like eerie bright yellow shade. And you're like, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> I don't know what it is. And then also the my favorite thing was so I've lived a lot of places too, but older, not younger. When I was younger, it was we I lived in Indianapolis and then Danville. Danville, got my Danville education. Um, so I went to high school and then in college I lived in a town called Terre Haute, you know, with my yeah. boy Matt. <laughs> he lived there a little longer than I did, but we both lived there. <laughs> paradise, man. Paradise. Paradise. I True. I just wanted to spend an extra year in used to be I don't know if it still is, but it used to be meth capital of the world. So it was. I don't know if it is. Anymore. El Cajon might have taken over. Um <laughs> real quick sorry <laughs> <laughs> he's like i gotta figure it out um but in college i had internships i lived in detroit one summer i worked downtown indy and then like graduating i went to north carolina and then in arizona and then oregon and so i've lit you know what i mean i've seen a lot and like i don't know yeah. I've, i'm one of those where like i don't really nothing really feels like home because everything just feels the same um i get that but I will say what used to make me laugh and also kind of annoy me. It didn't annoy me, but I was like, you guys got to stop. Is like when I lived in Arizona, I would see people in Indiana post like maybe like three times over the summer when they'd get a sunset that turns the sky like cotton candy colored. Mm-hmm. And they're like, oh, it's so you, you wish you lived here because it looks so good. I'm like, I, no lie to you. Every single sunset in Arizona oh, yeah. looks exactly like that. And I'm like, you oh, guys yeah. need to stop. Oh, yeah. Like, there's so many places. According to a very cursory Google search, just the first thing that popped up is uh, Michigan is currently mm. the meth capital of the world. We're no longer it. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> we gotta oh. celebrate those W's, my dude. Um, so I will say in chat, the white is black. Uh, that's my friend Ryan. Here's a picture of us as little kids. There's me on the side, and I'm hitting him with the stick in the nuts. <laughs> yeah we got a good what picture that's dude shit yeah just dude shit right there uh his other name you'll see him in other social medias by the african american so love that I, th- yeah. I remember doing dumb shit when i was a kid like letting people try to ollie over me like i was just <laughs> on the fucking i was looking like all right try to ollie and it, <laughs> fucking 10 times out of 10 didn't fucking make it <laughs> just fucking slam able to be I was able to be thrown into a locker in high school. We have that was moral small. Productions. Wait. Join and hello. Oh, there's a, uh, yeah, Gmall Productions. I don't know if I'm actually saying that correctly, but that's Gmall? my friend Tate. I actually have a picture of Tate on my Instagram, all, like, too. Childhood friends. Fucking yeah, look, they're all coming in. They're like, hey, we're talking. I have a picture of Tate on my, uh, I think we, we rode the bus together. We were in the same neighborhood. Actually, the whitest black and Gmall Productions were both in my neighborhood growing up. So, like, when I was in probably like, well, I guess from first until like high school, we had like 10 kids, all similar age range, at least 10 that we would all like hang out and do shit. Some of them got weird as hell, but other ones were. Hey. What? I heard you talking shit about Indiana and they decided to step in. Yeah, they're like, Indiana? And, but the, the funny thing is they're all agreeing. They're like, yeah, this place yeah. fucking sucks. They're all like, <laughs> you're right. <laughs> I'm going to beat the shit out of you, but you're right. Wait, let me see if I can find this picture so you guys can know who who's who, you know? This picture is also from a long fucking time ago in a town called Kickapoo. You know that? HD, yeah, yeah, there you go. There we go. Let's see. <laughs> um, here we go. You know, we don't Aaron, we don't have a picture to get ten years ago. Right That's Tate. <laughs> ten years ago. He reminds me of somebody. Like I've seen that. I don't know if it's that expression on his face. <laughs> <laughs> the face alone. I feel like I've seen that somewhere. Yeah, we don't have any pictures together. Newman and I have tons of pictures together, but he's kind of the picture guy at our work. Yeah, we don't have pictures together. I have taken... I think I'm... Am I touching your head in one picture, though? Yes. See? Like, uh, someone forced me to be in the picture, and I had to, like, <laughs> kneel down because I'm one of the taller ones, outside of you, of course. 
And then all you did was put your fingers on my <laughs> I was like, camera. And I was like, okay. Mm-hmm. It was a good uh, picture. Uh, yeah, Aaron, we don't have a single picture together. I don't even know if I have a douchey selfie with you in the background. Yeah, I'm surprised. Right, right now, and just crop me out. <laughs> We're like, <laughs> well, no, because like we, most of our time hanging out was I was sitting in the weight room working. <laughs> I was sitting in the weight room working, pretty much doing home. Working was doing homework because it was a work study thing. Yeah. yeah but if you got the weight room, homework. you didn't have to do shit. Every other, like if you had a front desk, they were like, you have to say hello to every person that comes in and like do all that. And I was like, I don't fucking I, put me in the weight room because like half the people were like scared of being in the weight room, probably because douchers like Matt. <laughs> all the buff dudes are in there. No, but my favorite thing is you'd see you'd see him walking around with like, you know, he's like lifting. And other people are like, you know, sitting there lifting. He's yelling at like, you know, basketball coaches and whatnot. Um, but he would also have like a bag of like gummy bears and gummy worms, just eating them the whole time he's doing lifts. Donuts. Don't forget when I had donuts in there. He too. did have donuts in there. I had the the host like the hostess donuts, the like really You're bad for you donuts. Gym with fucking gummy bears and donuts. Uh, yes. <laughs> only, he used to be a fat kid. No, he was skinny, no. skinny. You've no, always been country, like. like a, Lean, yeah. Wow, dude! Holy shit! High metabolism. You just eat that shit. Oh my god, dude! <laughs> Fucking lucky you. But the what happened was, I think how we became friends is well, we met yeah. when it was his freshman year. He's he was a year older than me, and I I think we played um oh what's that game by the people who made Apex Legends? Uh, Titanfall. Titanfall, the original Titanfall together. When I came to visit with my with yeah, the guy was my roommate Austin, all I did was play Titanfall. It wasn't even his game or in his room. No. <laughs> so I the way our campus works is you just leave your doors open at all times. Like you don't lock, you don't do anything. People just like walk roam in and out because of it's like a small what tight knit community type thing. But it's just that everyone sense. just that sounds legit. Yeah, it was it was really cool, and a BSB was. I love being in, and that was our res hall was BSB and I had the best room on campus because I had my own personal shower and bathroom and everything. Oh, you had that room. Yes, oh, sir. That. <laughs> I, knew that, I knew that you were special. I just didn't realize you were like, yeah. Special. See, Aaron seems like the type that he doesn't make friends or like, he, like you don't seem very like openly social. Like, no, he's just a dick. To chat with anybody. Well, I know he's a dick. Fucking, I work with this dude. No, so I don't go out of my way to try to make friends. I mean, like, even, like, passively, like, if you were at a party or something and someone started talking to you, I feel like you would just, like, ignore him and just, like, step away. No, I'll talk to him, but, like, I, most of the time, I mean, if it's at a party, I did that a lot. I had talked to a lot of people at parties because I was in a fraternity, but I didn't drink. So it's just, like, drunk people saying some random ass gibberish, and I'm like, yeah, cool, man. That's oh, what's that over there? This was Aaron. At, this was Aaron at a party. <laughs> Aaron is a dick. Very true. He's an awkward dick. I love when you get to know him. See, that's me. <laughs> that's I mean, how you make friends. I, I, you know what I've noticed is if I like want to try to make friends, and I know this sounds so stupid because I don't really like. I feel like I can be social, but it drains me. It fucking drains me, and I'm like, I don't want to do this. After like an hour of trying to be social, I'm like, I want to go home and just go to bed. This is fucking not for me. But if you make fun of someone as your first bit of interaction, it leads to friendships more so than if you do it any other way, in my experience. I know that I sounds like weird, but it's only certain people, I guess. humor is very important. Like, nah, fuck them. You know what? I don't even remember what sparked us actually talking, but somehow it was like mostly silence from work. But then we just started flipping each other off or something. Yeah. <laughs> See what I'm saying? You just normal. fuck you. <laughs> yeah i was like i don't even remember like the first thing i said to you all i remember is flipping you off and then like every time you would fucking walk by you'd just be like <laughs> and uh and that became normal and then suddenly we were like all right what's up dude <laughs> yeah. was like, oh. that's what i'm saying you just gotta like is he frozen frozen i think he's frozen oh he's in a good God. pose though that's yeah, he is point. he looks like he's like He's stoic as fuck. Like, like he's about to fucking drop the hottest line on the fucking Olympics or something. True. <laughs> True. But yeah, so I don't know. I, I just like, and that was the thing too, is like, I, 
don't know, like going to parties and stuff, I would always bring like, I'd have a water bottle with me and just be hydrating people because. Would you consider people. yourself an introvert? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, and I guess like the only time I'm extroverted, streaming is like my extroversion type, which isn't really being extroverted, but like I enjoy having people in chat talking and that kind of thing. I can do that for a while, but like, real like if I'm talking to someone, I just like, I think I struggle now to really concentrate and keep my mind in one spot now. Oh, he's gone. Uh, we'll have to try to move him back if I can't. Oh no. But I try, I like struggle to, uh, concentrate on conversations a lot where I'm like, I like get bored of a conversation and I'm just like, I don't really want to even be in this anymore. So I don't know what we're doing here. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Which sounds See, bad, but I, I have, well, not so much thanks to where I work now, but I'm also an introvert, which is essentially like to recharge my fucking like social battery. I need to stay the fuck away from people. I need to be in my room by myself. Yeah. And then I like get my energy back to go out and fucking socialize. But uh, where I used to work when I was a bartender, fucking like just I I guess I have like a personality that seems approachable enough that I could talk to like new coworkers or something like once or twice. And then suddenly they're like, yo, dude, we should go out for drinks or let's go do this. Let's go do that. And then I have the personality where I can't say no. I feel bad if I let someone down. So all these fucking I mean, I don't mean to say all these fucking people. Uh, a lot of people I would meet like very lightly would suddenly like they want to hang out on weekends and stuff. And then to me, that was draining because weekends were like, that's the time I'd spend to recharge, like stay away from people. And where I used to work, it, I think it just added to my stress. The fact that there was so many opportunities, like I had coworkers and even some regular customers who'd come to the bar like, hey, dude, let's go to this fucking bar after you get off or something. Like, it's on me. And I'm like, like, oh, I, I like, I just couldn't say no. I yeah. always felt bad letting someone down. So, I, no, I get that. I, I like, I made so many friends that there would be, uh, it, it felt like almost once or like twice a year mm -hmm. at least. I had a period where I like, I was essentially just hyper depressed. Like I don't want to talk to anybody. Everything is just infuriating me. Like I just, I just need to be locked in a fucking like cube or something and just left alone. And it would be a week straight where everything would fucking just be on my nerves. Yeah. And then after that, I would just pop back to normal. Like, like, okay, I can deal with pretending to be everyone's friend again. Not that I didn't meet a lot of good people or anything. It was, it was just that it, it weighed on me a shit ton to try to keep up the appearance could partially because it, it was part of my job as a bartender, like fucking making drinks and fucking talking to someone about whatever the fuck they want to talk about. The, <laughs> uh, I think just led people to believe that we were a bit closer than we were. Yeah. So it was just God, like those are stressful fucking days in my life that I don't think I would ever want back. Yeah. Well, see, I have a problem where like, well, I've started to say no to things more, but I do, I have that same, like where I feel bad about it. So like, even like last weekend, because two weekends in a row, I was, I was gone. You know, I went to Phoenix and then went to Mexico. And then last weekend was my first weekend back. And I was like, I was like, I need to fucking recharge. And, you know, John was like, Hey, if you're not doing anything for the fourth, let's do this. And I was like, I want to do that. But like, I was like, I was, I told him, I was like, I've been gone for two weeks out of town. I think I need to just sit yeah, that's, that's sit and recharge one. and he was like nope i completely get it i do the same thing so i was like all right cool but i still was like i didn't even watch fireworks i could hear them but like i faced the direction that the fireworks aren't so the other side of my building is where the fireworks are showing downtown so oh, i just yeah. <laughs> so i just hear them i'm like i'm going to bed and i fell asleep yeah it's like that's enough i got it yeah but i don't really like care for fireworks that much either i don't know they're fun as kids but like yeah i mean Mosquitoes eat me up too, so it's like I go outside and I have to have a damn good reason to be outside, or else I'm just going to be eaten up. And I sit out on the grass. Yourself, uh, an extrovert or an introvert? Curious. That's an interesting one. So I actually was talking to my sister about this this over the fourth because I was I was with my family for for most of the the weekend. Um, I 
so I'm probably on paper look more extra extroverted probably than introverted just because I do talk a lot. I do like to socialize. Um, however, I don't have a lot of friends, and I think that I don't know if that's just because I'm a dick or if that's just because. Yeah, like, no, that's dick. why. No. That's exactly why. You have to have someone that matches your assholery to be friends with. That's why we're still friends. Yeah, that's that's why we can. No, but um, I think a lot of it too is that I'm very, and I I, I don't mean to sound the way I'm gonna probably gonna sound, but I I put myself first majority of the time is i was here when i finally reconnected because i froze I actually restarted my computer but i was listening to you guys talk about how you guys are really into you know you you guys struggle with you know making sure that you put you want to you know make everyone else happy like whereas i'm selfish yeah, and whereas i'm like pretty selfish i'm not gonna <laughs> no, lie. I'm just, i really yeah. am no i don't no, think i actually I think it's not a bad it sounds bad but it's not a bad thing to be selfish in well, on that and i don't mean to be selfish as in like yeah. i'm not gonna like Give, give, you know, I'm not going to do charity. I'm not going to donate. I'm not going to like see someone and just like kick them for, you know, fun. Well, it depends on who you see, but. But no, I mean, honestly, it when I think when I, what I realized is like my time is my time. As you, as you, you were mentioning, you know, Newman, as you're saying, how like for a couple of weeks, you would just have to like hermit yourself, right? Whereas I I realized that it's like, Especially like the gym, for instance, because the gym was really well. I ran cross country in high school, and then I obviously didn't run college. But then I took up the the weight room because with the stress of school, and I didn't drink. Well, I did drink, but I shouldn't have been drinking, which is why I stopped drinking. But like I, I realized that that the gym was kind of a good place to you know just it was a little break from the school reality sort of thing. And I think I've turned that to kind of be like, I can be social, but like when I'm in prep for a show, for instance, like right now I'm, I'm 18 weeks out for my, my show, my, my lifting partner that I worked out, work out with, you know, he showed up and I was already working and I music was in, I was dialed and I wasn't talking and he, he could tell that he's like, Oh, this is a different mat versus, you know, when I'm bulking, when I'm having fun, it's like, you know, we're chatting, we're talking about stuff, we're talking about anything. And then, you know, it's like, I'll, I'll still lift and I'll still work out. Um, but I, I've even told him, I'm like, hey, when I'm, when we're 18 weeks into this, sh- I have 18 weeks left of this prep. I'm going to be focused. I'm like, I'm going to be really, really focused on this. If you can't keep up with me, I don't think anything less of you, but you're going to have to get out of my way. And I, I was I'm I was open with him about it because I I don't want him to think that like I hate him because I'm just like so focused because obviously he's just lifting with me but I'm you know prepping for a show, um, but I think that that that's just who I am. I'm always you know like if you're if you're going to get in my way, then just I think move. that ability to understand and to communicate that to somebody like separates you from other people who'd probably be just a straight asshole. You're like, look, this well, is. No salt on you, but I've got like something important I'm working on, and right now I kind of need to focus on that. In, in so many words, you're like, "Look, if you're going to be in the way, I just need I need the space." Then yeah. that's, that's. I'd huge. hope like, someone was. I'd hope someone would be open with me like that. If you know, if you guys were trying to, do. a lot of people struggle with though, like that that understanding in inside to be like, I need to let this person know that I'm I'm be focused on something, so I. It's not nothing, no slight on you. It's just, I need the space. I know one thing that I struggle with that I've actually been working through. I, I go to therapy every Friday. Um, and so like, I've been working through some of this stuff and Matt knows this firsthand. And I think Newman, you've seen it a little bit is where I'm really passive on certain things and then it builds up and then I just fucking blow up on people (laughs) and like get very fucking like annoyed at everything. Like Get the fuck away from me. Fuck off. Fuck you. You're a piece of shit. No one likes you. That kind of shit. <laughs> and I, I have been on the receiving end of that. Look, not been like and it's it's small stuff too. And I know it's small and I know it's fucking stupid. And I'm like, it is something I'm working on. I definitely need to work on because it's shitty. But like, it's been times where like one time Matt, it was me, Matt, my friend Blake and my friend Austin were playing Warzone. And I'm calling out stuff like I was so upset for no like you looking back. I'm like, what the so fuck is wrong mad. with me? But I'm sitting there like I'm like, hey, there's there's two below and I'm shooting at them. 
and they don't say anything back. They're like doing something else. And I'm like, there's two below us. Help. Can someone help? And, and then, and they're like, nothing, no feedback. I'm like, what the fuck? And like, then I die and then they fool me. And then they're like, well, what happened to you? And I was like, look here, you motherfuckers. I was fucking, I was pissed, dude. I went, and it wasn't like a funny piss. I was actually genuinely like heated. And I don't know, it's fucking horrible. So it's something I am working on, but like it, yeah. And you've seen me like kind of get annoyed and say shit to like people we work with because oh, I can, I can tell instantly when you're, you got a short fuse. Yeah. This is a, this is a day just to be like, Hey, what's up, dude? <laughs> it's like, all right. But I'm trying to work on it. It is something like, I know it's an issue and like, I am working through it. So that's good. At least it's a slow process. And I don't know if I've made much progress, but I'm trying. Yeah. I feel like we're I, still here. I'm still here. Yeah. Yeah. We still talk to you for some reason. Yeah. We'll see about that. You motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Is, is this a bet? Set a dare? Yeah. Uh, I feel like I feel like I I I feel like I should go to therapy, but part of me is I like God. I, I, I was in therapy so all throughout high school. About... Wait, what's up? I was in therapy all throughout high school. And I like I I feel like I'm older than both of you, so I think when I was a kid, when therapy was ever mentioned, it was like. It was like super like bad thing. It was like it was oh a God, stigma. Like, yeah. yeah, it was like a stigma for it, and like I've never gone to therapy, but with my like family history and stuff, and I just feel like there is no doubt in my mind that if I went to therapy, I feel like something could improve or something, or I'd get something out. But here's one I'm thing. So like, there's a part of me that's worried like. I don't know, man. Do you really want to hear like what someone's gonna tell you your problem is? I, I, I could just keep going the way I'm going. It'll be fine, right? But that so, feels unhealthy. From someone that's done therapy, I I was in therapy for for years, and obviously, Aaron, you know, you you're going through therapy right now. But as someone that's gone through it, it really and I know this sounds cliche, but it really only works if you are. A, honest with yourself, and be honest with your therapist. Because there was probably months worth that I just bullshitted my way, you know? Like, I knew something was hurting, broken deep down, but I just, like, you know, you just, again, there was that stigma. You didn't want to, like, admit it, you know, and whatnot. Yeah. And I think that's honestly when I, I think, again, what really kind of happened in high school, I was really trying to please everyone else. And I really, you know, kind of what we were talking about earlier, it was like, you want to, like, put on a show you want to make sure that you're making everyone else happy and i didn't think that that was the root cause and i didn't want to admit it because i was like no you know like i'm making myself happy right yeah but i think that once i really like came to terms with that that's just it was like fuck it all right yeah fuck you fuck you <laughs> you know just like i'll do i'll do me i'll do what i want to do yeah and so i think if you ever do decide to and anyone else you know whoever if anyone else is listening to this really off-topic podcast. Um, there is no topic. I That's think, what makes the topic. Yeah, You're so, this shit out right now, right? You just have. I think you know if you go, if you truly want to do go through therapy, don't waste your time if you're not going to be honest with yourself. I think that that's you know really, and I'm sure Aaron, you can kind of yeah talk a little and, bit more about that too right now. Yeah. So like, yeah. I mean, I have. So when I was, I think it was before middle schoolish is when I started to have a lot of like started showing my the signs of depression and anxiety that kind of stuff um and it was like when my parents were starting to go through their divorce and everything and yeah. i like went to there i asked to go to therapy but i went and i like went for like three times but i knew like every time we talked about money or something like it was a big deal and like i knew it cost money to go to therapy so after like three sessions i came out and i was like oh i'm yeah i'm good everything's good even though i really i was just lying to make my lying. parents feel lying. better right. and then feel better. And then, you know, I went, I went to therapy when I was in Oregon because I, you know, I was going through some shit. <laughs> Matt knows that <laughs> I was really yeah, going. Sure that, I was going to say, I'm pretty sure that's when you, you went off on me for something. Probably. I, I was, it was. It, I no, we were playing. <laughs> that was probably when we were playing 2v2, the 2v2 mode on. Oh, when we <laughs> were playing gunfight. Yeah. We were playing. Was that when you were playing gunfight? You went 
off on me. Dude. Yeah, I'm sorry. You were upset. <laughs> that was like, yeah, yeah, that was bad. But like, like so I don't think I don't think you played with me for like months after that. I probably didn't even play for months after that. It wasn't yeah, just yeah, you. Yeah. I think I just was like, no, nah, I can't. Well, I think what it was, I, that happened, and then when like an hour later, I'm like, w- like I get, I come to turn, like I'm like, I come back to reality, and I'm like. I can't play. I got to, I have to take a break because there's something, you know what I mean? Like it, maybe that's not yeah, the catalyst, something, but there's something, something like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. wrong with me doing that and getting these reactions when I do this thing. Um, and it's deeper than that. You apologize. I think you apologize. I'm, I'm still here. So yeah. I mean, I, well, you know, I don't give a I, I, it's like, okay. when it's someone that I know that I, I, I will apologize. I haven't apologized to everyone because some people, even when I went off on them and it was kind of a douchebag, they move, deserve it. I didn't apologize because I felt like they actually deserved the assholery. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, um, like, so I went when I was in Oregon and like, I was really fucking going through it, but I was going every week going and like one of the things that I've gotten lucky with, and maybe it's just like, even though I'm not like super social, I, I feel like because I'm more agreeable and I'm, I don't know if I'm approachable, although people, when they do like talk to me, they end up telling me like stuff that they don't tell other, like I've heard some deep, dark secrets that people are like, I don't tell us anyone, but like, I feel like I can trust you. And I'm like, I don't, I, I guess I don't like, I'm not, not going like, to say anything, but like, you're like, what the I, fuck I is your name again? Fuck. Yeah. I'm like, I literally don't remember who you are, but yeah, tell me, bring it on. I'll forget it. Maybe that's why they do it. Cause I won't remember them and they just fucking, it's gone. You know what I mean? Yeah. But like, I know one thing that if you like for people that need to go to therapy, a lot of people are like, Oh, I went to therapy. It didn't work. I hated my therapist. It's like, that's a struggle. Like finding a therapist, there's that is a real thing that people struggle with and people yes. don't realize is a thing that goes into therapy. Mm-hmm. You need to find a therapist that works with you. Because it's just like a rela- it's a it's a relationship. It not really dating. Is. It's it a really it's is. a it's not a friendship. It's a work, it's like a work it's relationship. Personal. Yeah, it's you you have to be able to trust them and they have to be able to know how you can like If you say something, if you're fucking like, say you're like, oh yeah, like, you know, we, me and Newman can really, my mom died. Um, (laughs) and your, your therapist goes, oh, dead ass, you're dead ass. Your fucking mom died. Yeah. (laughs) Everyone's mom died. It's like, no, that's not going to fucking help. You know, some people that may fucking help, but like most people, you need to find someone that's like, can see how you react to things, see how you like deal with things and help you to deal with things more healthy, healthily. Or you might get someone that's like super sympathetic and they're like, oh, I'm so sorry. Like, how did, you know, are you okay? Like, that's just, <laughs> that's just. Yeah. But there are some, just, like, in, you know. He's got no mom, what a loser. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, no. <laughs> Is that what chat's saying right yeah. now? <laughs> Dwight. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Fuck but, like, I so I, I don't. Relate, can relate. I can tell you a story about what didn't happen to me and I, you know, I'm. One of my exes, she went to, she had a therapist when she was younger because she was going through a lot of stuff. And she says it was one of her favorite therapists. And I, it, it doesn't make sense to me, but I'm, who am I to judge? You know what I mean? I'm not trying to do whatever. But what she said is this therapist told her when she went in, like when one of her sessions, she was like talking to her therapist and the therapist, and this is something that I can't believe a therapist would ever say. And I don't think they should ever say. The therapist said, oh, it's not if you'll kill yourself, it's when you'll kill yourself. What the fuck? Yeah. Enabling? What the fuck? Yeah. I was like... You putting $20 on this, I guess? (laughs) Yeah. Is there there a... Like, but no, but like, for real, like, and, and I still like haven't... I'm like, there's no way that... If that's like a real thing that happened, then that person should not be helping people. Yeah, like, like, Trying to like imagine myself in that situation, it would probably be like a nervous laughter. But like, uh, are you are you fucking crazy? You just said that. Yeah, but I think she oh, was young. Point. Yeah, Tate. No, I don't know what the fuck is the correct response to that because it doesn't. And and I think I don't know. I'm just saying that's that's what I was told. But you know, I don't know what to believe, and I'm not trying to judge. But it's fucking it's wild. If that's like actually true. Fuck that. Fuck that therapist. But like, yeah, I don't know. But with therapy, back on that, <laughs> um, 
it's just one of those that uh i mean we're still on therapy but like all of us are in agreement to some extent that therapy can be very valuable to everyone if yeah. you are willing to like personally admit that you could use a little help on well and i think you can actually feel that way and not just say it to yourself yeah and i think you don't necessarily need therapy to get help in certain ways or to like to fix issues that you see it can help you to like find issues but like if you already know there's something like a personality trait that you know is like hey i don't not that oh society doesn't like this but you say like i don't like i know i don't like my outburst or whatever you know what i mean that kind of thing or when i'm like short fuse like neither do i i didn't have to go to therapy fuck you know what <laughs> <laughs> listen here you little shit uh no but like i i didn't have to go to therapy to know that hey this is something i want to fix and be able to right. like find you can find resources to be able to do it but like sometimes it helps like i'm i'm pretty open about shit with people but it's not the same as actually exploring the things you're open with because i can be open and tell you about like oh this thing happened to me this thing happened to me i talk about it all the time so i'm like numb to it but i'm not i'm like coding the actual emotions i've always felt with like a numbness to try to act like it never affected me or like i wasn't allowed to have things affect me I wasn't allowed to be sad i, I wasn't allowed to do anything but be happy and whatever I mean, emotional I have, meltdowns are based. <laughs> I probably have the the same like mindset in certain ways there because, uh, as Aaron knows here, uh, both of my parents are deceased, and by unfortunate set, like standards for both of them. Uh, so, like when people ask me, I, it's usually like, "Hey, I don't mind talking about it, but it's not going to make you feel good. Like, it's not going to bother me to tell you, but." Like, I know it's not like a, a very joyous thing to, to bring up. So it's usually I try to give yeah. people the, the understanding. Hey, I can do this, but you will feel bad. But then I will be annoyed by how you will act when I say this. So just nice. do you really want to listen to this? Because I don't know if I do. But I mean, I don't, I don't know if it's a shield or you're deflecting or if I'm deflecting is probably what I'm actually saying. But yeah, it's that like, I don't care that I'm this to you because it's facts that i'm like yeah it's not it's not my heart that i'm pouring out the, these are actual things and then uh but it's kind of like oh i'm just ignoring whatever that could be doing to me because i i'm defending myself with the these are facts type shield and it's like eh. i know like one issue that i have that i think my whole family has is we we deal with everything with comedy or like making jokes about a situation. So, I mean, even literally like, I remember the week, like my mom died and like four days later, I was back at like track practice because I missed a day for like something to go back home for something. I came back and it was like, oh, where were you? I was like, I don't know, just burying my mom. And they're like, what? Jesus I was like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like Christ. just, but we didn't, she didn't get buried. She was actually cremated, but um <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> okay that's better Ooh, fuck. <laughs> putting her in the ground is one thing but <laughs> jesus christ but like it was it's one of those things where like i will still make I'm jokes like, where someone's like oh it. my mom's calling me and i'm like I wish i had that or like you know what i mean and like people like oh well, yeah I'm what like, like why would you say that i'm like i thought it was funny i don't know like it's not you know dark humor yeah, yeah. It's, like, it's a coping mechanism i mean it really is i mean we, yeah. we all do it with all sorts of forms of strategy you know i did although i think newman has a better better uh claim to be able to do this but i was once telling like uh i went to acting class when i was in arizona oh yeah and i was talking to like that. the you didn't know that yeah oh well i was in i was an extra I... in two commercials oh, really yeah I mean, I know you're extra, but goddamn. Yeah, the, Newman's seen the one that I was actually showed up in. The other one I got paid to go to and didn't show up in. So, you know, yeah, sometimes it'd be like paid that. For real. But um, I was telling her, like, it was just kind of like a life story type thing about, like, all the crazy shit that's gone down in life. And I know Newman has it on blast. He's been hit by, like, four cars or something. Survived a fire, I think, in a field. I want to talk about how uh, many near-death experiences <laughs> I've had it is a lot but like mine wasn't yeah mine isn't near-death experiences and like i only had one parent die but like i've had 
you know, restraining orders, parents attack me, like all this other crazy stuff with everything. And like, I told her this whole story that I've, it used to take like 30 minutes to tell. And now it's like, I condense it in like five. I'm like, Oh, there it is. Boop, 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 boop. Like whatever. But she was like, you should make that into a screenplay. That would be a really good movie. And I'm like, that's fucked. I don't <laughs> my eyes are fucking misfortune. <laughs> but then I'm like, wait, maybe I should. Let's fucking do it. <laughs> that's wild, dude. That's funny as fuck. Yeah. That's the one who would say Shit, something. My, my life has been pretty boring then. Shit. Well I, I wouldn't say that. I was gonna say, do you have both your parents? But then it's like you do, but you don't. I don't know. <laughs> Adoption jokes. Yay. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I think therapy's a good <laughs> What were we talking about again? I don't, I don't know. I don't know where we're off to right now. We fucking trail um, as we've done before, just trail the fuck off into the direction though. That's what once we get started, it's just like a snowball. Yeah. Podcast uh, about nothing. Mm-hmm. Hey man. Seinfeld did that shit for a while. Yeah. I love Seinfeld. They just made a segment block. Yeah, I mean I I want to do therapy at some point. It just feels like a huge, like that first step feels like the, the biggest. Are you, are you on insurance at work or no? Yeah. Okay. I don't know. I haven't had to, I don't know which one you have. I don't know if we, do we all have the same options? We have totally. options, but depending on your options, you get different places. Okay. I'm, I do the Kaiser one is what I do. Um, but I haven't, like I've gone for like weeks now. And I, every time they like send me a thing, they're like, oh, it's zero dollars, zero dollars. And I haven't paid for it, but I feel like I'm supposed to be paying something for it, but they just keep sending me the bill that says zero dollars owed. They might, it might be covered for a certain amount of, uh, visits per year. Cause I think my, for like when I was going to the chiropractor, I think it was like 52 visits per year, which is essentially one per week. And I think I cranked through that in like months because my <laughs> back was all jacked up. Uh, someone blow your back out. <laughs> yeah. I, I, Constantly having bigger dudes in the gym blowing my back out. What can I say? Hey, hey, it's a real problem, you know. <laughs> Somebody's got to do it though. <laughs> Pushing weight, dudes. Oh my gosh, my gourd. All right, I need to. I'm getting like blown out here. Look how fucking white I look. <laughs> I mean, well, that's I why I had it. I had it adjust. I adjusted my camera. I can just adjust and my that's lighting. Why, that's what I thought my uh, my filters were gonna do, but they well, didn't. Do. Chat, yeah. just like. Aaron's getting his back blown out. <laughs> Aaron always getting his back. <laughs> Everyone's going from some depressing ass fucking topic to like, oh, Aaron, Aaron's back to you. Wait, black back's being blown out, Aaron? <laughs> He's known for his back being blown out. Hey, Aaron spent the night in Paris, dude. That's Wait, I, I did. Hey, you guys been to Paris? <laughs> <laughs> but no, okay, I actually did start to... Okay, I will say I started to be... Like, if there's people I don't know as well... Or like talking to anyone, I'm I'm always like more quiet because like my jokes are a little like out there sometimes. They're pretty fucked. Yeah, yeah. but then I decided I don't like want to fucking do that. Guy. Look, no, I'm gonna tell you how stupid <laughs> this was. This this girl that I'm friends with, and it's not like anything like whatever. She said something about uh oh finances are hard right now, and I replied, I go, I'm hard no matter what my finances are. <laughs> And she was like, what? And I was like, sorry. I normally say this to like dudes, but it, it was too perfect not to. But she was like, no, that was funny. I'm like, also okay. A bad thing to say. I know, oh, sorry. I normally tell dudes that I'm Yeah, funny. I only tell this to the boys. And she was like, she's like, am I one of the boys? I'm like, kind of now that I said this. So yeah, you're one of the boys. But like now I'm like, who the fuck cares? If I make these jokes to someone and they don't like it, fuck it. This is my humor. This is what I want. Like that, that's exactly what I was talking about. It's like if you don't if you don't like the stuff that we do for like the jokes that you make that are you, I mean it's like why would you even want them around anyway? Yeah. Like if they're always just gonna be like, How could you say that? It's like that's literally ninety percent of the shit that comes out of my mouth. Like I it was I was, you know, again, I was with my family this uh over the holiday and one thing my sister, I think, still doesn't just despises about me is that I just will <laughs> swear freely around my parents, and I apologize. I know parents are touchy subjects right now, but no, my dad, my dad was literally, I forget how old I was. I think I was like twelve or something. My dad was like, "You can cuss around me, just don't cuss around your mom." And I was like, "Okay," but I mean, I was cussing in like fourth grade, I think. I was on the bus with Tate. We were just fucking. <laughs> 
<laughs> the fuck? Just cussing, singing rap songs. At that time, we didn't know we weren't allowed to say certain words. And I, uh, you know, I don't say that anymore because it definitely. But when you're that young, you just don't fucking care. Yeah. You're like, oh, I'm saying whatever I want. But. Well, we were, we were playing Euchre. And. I love Euchre. I know. My mom was, <sighs> my mom was after me. And she played a card and, you know, won the hand. And I was like, I literally was like, what the fuck, mom? <laughs> and my sister just kind of looked at me like, what? You can't say that. But I'm just like, fuck it. Like, I mean, I, I swear, I swear a lot. I don't know. I, I don't know. There's probably some psychological reason why I do, you know, but it's one of those things. Like, if I'm always around people that, like, don't want me to swear, then I'm just gonna be like, oh, frick, frack, oh, <laughs> darn. I don't know. It's like I, it's not who I am, you know. And I feel like you people... know, obviously. Sorry, go. You oh, go ahead. Oh no, I was gonna say, obviously, when I'm around the kids, I'm not gonna be, you know, telling them to fuck off, right? That's mm. like I, I, I know my surroundings, but at the same time, it's again like, if this chat was supposed to be PG, I would do my best not to swear. But <laughs> you've you seen my streams. <laughs> I was gonna say, but you couldn't fault me for not like if I had like. <laughs> 20 slip ups because that shit, Aaron. I mean, literally every other that, word yeah. that comes out of my mouth when we're playing video games is some swear word. Yeah. That's why every other word me. when I'm playing games is some swear word. And then when I'm yelling at you, it's about every two words. Every word. Yeah. It's about every word. Is like, uh, but yeah, no, Tate says bus was the Wild West. And it was our bus was fu I, for some reason we all like didn't get cars until like later on in high school. So we were like all juniors riding the bus. Jeez, but like, I can't imagine how chaotic that was. <laughs> but there was at one point, I remember in fifth, I think it was fifth or sixth grade, our bus driver would hate, like, we got a bus driver, his name was Bill, he's the, he's the best bus driver of all time, one of my favorite people of all time, I love that man to death, um, but he hated us when we first got on the bus with him, and he like, I still hate you. What? <laughs> <laughs> hey, everyone remembers Bill, he's the greatest, but he like yelled at us. And like made us all sit up front and like had a shut. He was like, shut the fuck up. And like yelled at us. He's this old dude. He's old dude. And he uh, like got mad at us. And then after like a year of us there and us like just talking to him, he was like, oh, you guys are actually cool. You guys can go do whatever you want. And so we just like went to the back and we would just be fucking around yelling, whatever. And I remember one time I was sitting there and there was a kid. His name was uh, Devin. He sat, he was in my grade and we were kind of friends at one point, but then he just kind of became, I didn't like, I don't know how he is now but at the time he was a douchebag like a major doucher and he was like two rows yeah. in front of me up to the left i'm on the right side of the bus so i'm here and he's like there up there he turns around and like throws like a box of like nerds like takes all the nerds out and throws them at me it's the waste well he does that and i was like nope and i stood up i walked over and i just start wailing on him his literally like I remember the frame like the lint like his glass lenses popped out of the frames when I was hitting him. Devin's got a Devin's got a kid now. Oh my gosh! And then so I do that and I'm like and I look up at Bill and he look he's looking in the mirror and he goes and just keeps driving and I was like that's my god. What the, what the <laughs> fuck? You just knocked this dude's fucking glasses out of his goddamn frame, wailing on him and this dude's like. Well, he was being a real shithead to everybody. I, but he was like, okay. <laughs> but yeah, it was just shit like that. But it was, a, it was a fun time. But he would always give like, he would always, he would stop at my stop. And I, like my stop was the bus stop. Like my house was the bus stop. Okay. And if I was, yeah, yeah, yeah. like most bus drivers, if you didn't come out right away, they would drive off. He would stop, yeah. wait, not see me. Honk, and if my mom like opened and was like, "He's coming," he'd be like, "We're good," and just wait for me. He would be like, "Yeah, we'll wait for him." Whatever. He was he was awesome, and he would give candy every like holiday. He would just have like chocolate. He would give out like if it's Valentine's Day, he's like, "Oh, everyone gets a Valentine or what?" You know what I mean? Like for every kid on the bus, he was he was dope. That's dope. That is dope. I think I don't know if he's still alive. I know that sounds bad, but like I I it was three years ago was the last time I heard I saw he lives in my my the neighborhood so my brother lives in. Bus drivers tend. Bus drivers were usually older. Yeah, not all the time. But, but he was some actually of them were just retired too. Yeah, the know? no, he was a. I think he played this. You're not gonna believe this, but he was. Um, 
<laughs> what does he say? He wouldn't wait for us because Devin was at my fucking side. See, he hated Devin. I was telling you. <laughs> but he actually played professional baseball. He played for the Braves. Oh, shit. I think he was a pitcher oh. for the Braves. Damn. He passed away 2020. Damn it. No, not. Dude. Damn. But rest in peace. <laughs> love you, Bill. Rest in peace. Dude, that was. I love that guy. I'll never forget him. Like, you think. But think about that. He's just a. Just a bus driver for, you know, I guess just it was like, bus driver, yeah, yeah I, I, but I did see him like twice a day for like 10 years. So I guess that's, you know, but still, he just, it's a lot of, yeah. I and I, everyone remembers him. Pour some out for the dead Omi. Can I get that Coke from you, Newman? Uh, <laughs> it's in the trash. Uh, yeah, I don't have any cool bus driver relationship stories. Our bus drivers are all assholes who just. I'm here to do one thing and it's get you to school and then get the fuck out of the bus. That was it. Well, before we got Bill, we had this, this lady who was the biggest. Mm, there's words I could say, but she was the worst person ever. Really kind person. Yeah. Real big. See you next Tuesday. Yes. Yes. That's, <laughs> yes. That's the exact word I was looking for. Um, <laughs> but like one time it was like pouring down rain I got out to the bus stop and I'm like walking to get to the bus and she closes the door and drives away. As I'm walking up, my mom like gets in the car and like has me follow and I like have to get out and like sprint after the bus in the rain to get on it because my mom had to go to work like she couldn't do whatever. And this yeah. lady wanted to keep driving until the kids on the bus were like, hey, there's a fucking kid that you left. Like what? You know what I mean? Behind us. Yeah. And it's pouring rain. It's fuck. I'm soaked and I'm like, what the fuck? Like Jesus. And she was horrible. She was never nice. She wouldn't say like hate anyone. She was just like, I fucking hate being here. I hate everyone. Go fuck yourself. And then we got Bill and it was God's gift to earth. It sounded like she smoked, but you know, it was just from nonstop screaming. See, <laughs> this is the best part about kids watching, like people watching that grew up in the same neighborhood as me is they can back up like everything I say. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it was, it was, that's why. And then getting Bill was just like, God was like, here you go, young ones. <laughs> you have someone that's actually a good person. Bless you with the chill. Yeah. Chill Bill. <laughs> well, does anyone does anyone from the chat have any embarrassing stories for us for, for about Aaron? Oh, probably a lot. I was embarrassing. <laughs> Although I did hear something that type that's typable, you know, that's short enough to type about. <laughs> She was a muffin. <laughs> oh, we're talking about the bus drivers. <laughs> but uh, no, it's, I'm, I'm sure it's delayed. That's that's why. yeah. <laughs> oh, my, we did almost die. And yeah, me and me and Dwight is black. Were in, I have a bunch of embarrassing stories. Like Gmail Productions and I, we once I think it was in like high school. We uh oh the sketchy woods. There's just so many stories. Oh my gosh, we were in high school. We I remember Tate and I just going in our it was in my room i had like the speakers i have now that like could shake my whole house and we put on skrillex because no one else was home and we just blared it and we were just like jumping around the room just like fucking getting it <laughs> we were like oh hell yeah but yeah the, okay would you, should i just start telling the stories as they come through or like do you what do you <laughs> it's I, don't, just, I don't know just, how long you want to go we've been going what, what it's is it been an hour and a half, two hours now? no we've only been live for an hour and eight minutes all right. I don't know how long you want to go. With... I'm down to listen. All right. I'm it's, gonna... only, it's only 11.08 here. So, I mean, There's... I was up until like 4.30 yeah. last night. All right. I'll gonna tell, go I'm going to tell the, uh, the story of the sketchy woods experience. Okay. So, all right. So, behind my house, there is a set of woods. It was the first time he came over to stay the night at. And my uncle wrote some gay shit in chalk on my chalk. Yeah, I think it was something about Tate and I being gay together or something. I don't know. <laughs> the the first time I go over and his, his uncle's like, yeah, Aaron fucks <laughs> Tate or some shit like that. And it was like, oh, yeah, cool. <laughs> like, that's going to be you as an uncle. <laughs> I will be. I will. No, I fucking roast my, my nieces and nephews all the time. My one niece, she's like, every time she's like, when's Uncle Aaron going to come over? And then I'm there. And within the first two minutes, she's like, all right, I'm leaving. <laughs> she dips because we just wrote. <laughs> She'll like come out and be like, hey, can you grab me a drink? And, and like from the fridge. And she's like, no, you can grab it yourself. I'm like, but I'm a guest. Like, you should do this for me. What the hell? Like, you treat people like this? And then her dad's like, yeah, what the hell? And like, it goes in with me. <laughs> <laughs> just fucking drill her. <laughs> yeah. Um, but okay, the, the sketchy woods experience. Sorry, I know you want to leave. You, you're not having fun. You hate talking to us. 
Yeah, I hate you, dude. Yeah. So I work with you all day. I got this. I get to look at this fucking face for like hours every day. I know chat understands. Matt, you probably understand. <laughs> but no, I don't. I don't ever deal with. Yeah. Continue. But so <laughs> so we were out. We lived. He lived like if you go outside of my house down the driveway to the left, the road goes, and then there's like. That's where the other road is, and his house was like right there. And then if you went left instead of right from his house, there was. I know it's very confusing. I wish I had a map no, to I'm, show no, you. No, no, I'm, I'm just playing in my my yeah. head. Yeah, yeah, go. There was a part where the road ended. There was a little section clearing of the woods, and then there was a big field, and then another huge section of woods about like a hundred yards past that field. Right? <laughs> he gets it. So we're in that field, and it has just like rained the week before, right? Yeah. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> but it had just uh, rained the week before. It rains all the fucking time, so, you know, whatever. And there was like a flooded like area, and there was like a glass pane that was like sitting there, and so we knocked that shit over. We're like, fuck it. It's glass pane. We'll put it into the water, so it's floating on the water, right? We're walking around. We go to this little area, and I and just you know, they'll come back to that later. We'll show. It's literally okay. like someone was like going Very to strange thing. Okay, keep going. Yes, Sorry. it was like someone was going to install a window somewhere, and then it was just out in the fucking middle of the woods. Like I'm not even joking. And we put that. We like fucking knocked it over, and it was just floating away in the fucking the flooded area. And we keep we're walking around this little like pond that's been created, and there's this huge tree that's knocked over. And there's like a clearing underneath it. You can walk under this. And we walk to it and we see there's a fucking file cabinet and a bed in the middle of the fucking woods. And we open the file cabinet and it's just a bunch of like comic books and then like gardening equipment. Like fucking, I, I like, I don't know. Ruggies out? out I, do, I have no clue. All I know Wait, is we were free. Meth capital era, or is this a different place? This was a different place, not as meth capitally. Okay. This was more country boy people. Are you sure meth doesn't follow wherever you go? Or? It probably does. Um, uh, <laughs> Scientific effect on the meth levels of each <laughs> fucking. City. But all I know is that we were like we saw that and we like started to freak out. And I think we we both started hearing things because we were like we like started to freak out and we're like younger. I think we're middle school ish and we're like walking away. And both of us were like, do you hear breathing? I hear breathing. And we started fucking sprinting because we thought we could hear like someone breathing, chasing us or some shit. It was fucking weird. But then we went back there like a month later. <laughs> and that window that we had knocked over was upright against the same tree <laughs> again. God. And we were like, and we nope the fuck out of there. We're like, no, I don't want to fucking deal with. Nope. Mm -mm, nope. <laughs> nope. Air witch shit, dude. Yeah. We were like, no. Dude, we did get stuck in a ditch. Michael and I did. That was funny, but that's a, that's not like a crazy, <laughs> that's a short story. Bad driving choices or. Well, okay. So Michael's older brother. Oh, there was clothes too. Yeah. There's so many, I have so many stories running through my head, but <laughs> that's why I need more people to help corroborate. Tell me what I'm missing. Um, oh yeah. We did get picked up by the police one time trying to go to McDonald's in the middle of the night. Um, Jesus Christ, dude. The <laughs> <laughs> but no. So, okay. Well, twice with Michael in the car. Michael's older brother, uh, Jonathan, would drive. He had a big, like, Ford Explorer. I think it was an Explorer. It was a big fucking Ford SUV. Um, and they lived in this neighborhood, and we were trying to get to church, right? And it was quicker for us to take this, like, it's normally like a dirt field that you can just, like, cut through. But again, because it's Indiana, it had rained, and it was no longer a dirt field. It was a mud field. And he did have four wheel drive, but we were going, we got about halfway in and then it just went and nothing, nothing helped. We were just stuck in there and there was like six of us in the car. And so we had to like trek back through the mud and get another ride to the to church. And then I'm pretty sure that same summer that that happened, we were driving and right near where our like high school was, there's a dave's pizzeria which i worked there for two weeks before quitting fun fun stuff i was it was because it, whatever i'll tell it later but 
we're driving and the car in front of us just like fully hits the brakes like comes to a complete stop but we're going like 40 miles an hour and michael literally goes over i think he like runs over this whole thing of bushes in front of the thing and like over this little <laughs> curb and then goes into the parking lot and the guy that we almost hit but we like literally hit this other stuff to not hit he fucking hey we worked there together we worked there. We got to. We got on one shift together, Tate. <laughs> you don't remember? Okay, but he literally goes to the parking lot to tell us that we we were fucking idiots and that we should learn how to drive, and then goes back into the traffic. And we're like, we, <laughs> you stopped in the middle of the in the fucking road, and we need to learn how to drive. Like, go fuck yourself. But yeah, the McDonald's one. Tate doesn't even remember. He fucking he hates me. That's crazy. We worked there one time. I remember it because one of the stories, and Newman probably won't believe that this actually happened, but it did, was we were we both worked as we were dishwashers, right? We would go and pick up the dishes and everything. One of the chefs the night that he, that Tate and I worked together came in and was like, "Hey, can you guys? I really need you guys to clean my steak knife really quick. I need to I need to make this whatever." And we were like, "No, fucking clean it yourself. What the fuck?" Like, and he actually went and cleaned it himself and then left. And everyone else that I talked to was like, wait, he actually cleaned his own stuff? He didn't yell at you guys to clean it? We're like, yeah, we didn't fucking let it. Like, he needed it that fucking quick. He can do it himself to get it done. Like, what, what does he want us to do? And it actually oh, fucking worked. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> we, fuck? Yeah. But no, the worst part about working there was, um, so there was only like three servers. And they, you could only work five-hour shifts. So like you couldn't oh, work weird. shorter shifts or anything. So like I had soccer practice and I had to quit because I was like, I'm missing soccer practice. I'm not going to be able to like play or be on the team because I'm missing this for this bullshit that pays two bucks an hour. It was more than that. But but there's yeah. there's three sections that got sat and each of them had a different server. One of them was a section with the guy that his, his name's Dave. He he's passed away as well, uh, but he was kind of a jerk. His whole thing, the whole place was military themed and he offered no military discount. <laughs> <laughs> fucking does he understand marketing at all i don't think he does but uh well he can't anymore he can't understand anything he's dead uh, um, he's dead yeah uh, and then <laughs> so, <laughs> so there's this different sections and the one section that has his wife was always the people that like tipped extra would get sat in their section next like they knew it was yeah. friends whatever that would tip he, they'd get there money yeah well one time i was going to clean its fucking table there and this dude i think it was I, I think it was a girl in my in my grade her like dad was there eating with the family or whatever and he comes up to me and goes hey make sure that it, whatever his wife's name was gets her gets her full tip from the table and then puts money in my pocket guess how much money he put in my pocket to make sure that i let her get her she's the only one that goes in the fucking room that's not me Guess how much money you put in my pocket to make sure that I, you know, that I was taken care of. Right. And he put a $1 bill in my pocket. Oh, shit. Oh, a shit. one fucking yeah, dollar bill. I was like, <laughs> never mind. I can't, what, what, the fuck? Wow. Wow. Yeah. I was like, what the fuck do you want me to do? I was like, yeah, I'll do it. And I just walked out. I was yeah. like, I'm not... fucking thanks, grandpa. Let me go pick up a fucking sarsaparilla for a nickel down at the old fucking. <laughs> yeah. I was like, what the Dude, fuck is this going to do? Wait, was the, was the Bobby Nightshine, was that the fucking mass of whatever was fucking growing above the dishwashing station there was something fucking growing up there. it was like they took like a pepper or something and just left it up there and it's been up there for fucking years i'm talking years and years why is it called the bobby i don't know if that's what he's talking about he'll have to explain that one if that's if i'm wrong about that but maybe it was the person who put it up there i don't know but then i also remember oh knight like a knight in armor Oh, we know he's talking about actual Bobby Knight. Oh, fuck. I'm stupid. I was thinking of something. Bobby Knight. There's a shrine to the basketball coach Bobby Knight there. <laughs> Why? What? He, he coached for IU. He's fucking like, I, there's so many different stories. No, that was their fetus. See, he knows about the fetus is what we got. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, he had a table with a mannequin dressed <laughs> that like. That was their fetus? Yes. He had a table with a mannequin dressed like Bobby Knight. That's where, oh yeah, that's where I had an interview. My interview, I had to sit next to Bobby Knight at the table for my interview across from Dave. I'm so lost right now. There's a shrine <laughs> to somebody and then there's a fetus 
who's Bobby Knight? He's a co- he coached he sat next he, to him or something. He coached he coached college basketball for IU back in the eighties, I think, or something like that. And um, I did not know about that part. There was a bunch of rejection letters saying he wouldn't come try the pizza, but thanks for asking. <laughs> Jeez. Uh. But but yeah, and like I yeah, it was a uh, it was a fun it was a fun time. It was like it, yeah, if you. What? There's a lot of places in Indiana where you like talk about it and you're like, that's a real thing. Like our Mayberry Cafe is if you if I explain what the Mayberry Cafe is, it's kind of a fever dream as well. So it's a restaurant, right? It's themed after it's themed after the Andy Griffith show. Old black and white show. TV's everywhere playing it constantly. Everything's like old time whatever. And then you get like, if you're a kid and you get a certain thing, you can get a token and the token lets you get either ice cream or a, a, a little prize from up front. That's like a toy. That's like worth five cents. It is fire food though. It is actually, and they have a whole festival around it now, the Mayberry festival. And out front is a, um, is a car is the uh, sheriff's car from the show parked out front of the, of the restaurant in our downtown area. They filmed part of a movie there recently. Hell yeah, it's old people food. But the fucking they have. They, I love how your chat is just here to fucking <laughs> support all of this, this dumb shit. I'm, the, no, I'm still a little hooked up on the shrine for Bobby Knight, and then and the fetus? somehow that being mistaken with a fetus. Well, the no, fetus. I was thinking of something else. I when he said that, my brain just automatically went to that thing where is the I told you it was like they put like a pepper and it was that's the growth yeah. whatever that's the fetus. Dude, my brain is like, I need to see these things. I, I wish I could fucking, like, what does this look like? This is so weird. But, okay, it's your weird fucking... I don't know. But the, there's, if you go to Mayberry Cafe, they have this, like, apple cinnamon butter. I don't know if I ever want to be in this area. It sounds you. weird. I want to, now I just want to, I need to show people, you got to head out, you got to work in seven hours. We should probably get off soon, too, but... Oh, this was good. Reliving, reliving. Time. And now you know why I left my town. That was all in my town of Dan- <laughs> Danville. <laughs> I told you to have a toad. To water the feet. <laughs> what? Don't it's, it's a cult. Do you, does Dwight Black still live there? He lives uh, a few towns over. I think uh, Gmail Production still lives there. Uh, Michael lives a few hours away now. But we all grew up in the same town and lived there for a long time. So, Brownsburg, pretty close to it. But God. I worked okay. in Brownsburg. Really? Dude, I got to work on D and D stuff, and now I'm all working with something that is like. <laughs> Maybe you can use some of my ideas, the fetus or yeah. shrines, to Bobby Knight as a D and D stuff. <laughs> I worked at uh, Fleet Performance Engineering. Nice. I think Ryan works for um, Andretti Auto now. Cool. <laughs> Oh, yeah. thanks for the prime sub. Hey, that's what we like to see. Hey, I don't know why you waste your time prime subbing to this shit. That's true. Yeah, so many better choices. Hey, I'm just gonna let you guys know. Even though we're streaming together now, I'm keeping all the money that I make from. This. <laughs> it's all me, baby. <laughs> ah, I, have, I, I haven't even started my stream yet. So <laughs> no. that you know. A learning guy. That's why I, I told him he. A learning guy needs to learn how to start his stream every once in a while. Yeah, but you know. Start streaming. I like I'm just so fucking lazy these days. I think yeah. I just it's because I hate being home. I hate being in this apartment with my roommates. You could be an IRL streamer. Just walk around. Uh I feel like I'd need a like I'm a dude who like wants a good setup for something. I don't think I could walk around just holding my phone in my face. I'd need like I've seen No, you gotta that. walk around with like the guy who looks at trains. Have you oh, seen that guy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've, I've been I love that guy doing that with the in the gym. So it's just that same camera angle, but just working out. So it's just, <laughs> my favorite was someone was like, I thought I was face was just like, what's happening? Another guy had a similar camera. He's like, I, I thought I was taking a cool video, and he uh he put it in his mouth, and then all you see is his like teeth look extra huge. He was like playing basketball. He was trying to take a three sixty video of everything, but he like didn't have yeah. a thing to hold it on. He doesn't have his patented Newman mount. And so he had to put it in his mouth and you just see, it's just like half the screen is just his teeth, like, like huge. <laughs> it's just like, it didn't work out as I thought it would. It was hilarious. But, oh man. I would do that forehead cam thing as like uh, a joke that I'm in on. Cause that shit, that shit was so funny. <laughs> 
the 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 thing that made me feel bad is that the person is so generally actually like enthralled by trains and stuff. Yeah. That it made me feel bad laughing at his like bad camera angle. Because but it's, now it's him. Like now it's just so endearing just, to yeah, see that. You're like, oh, that's yeah. that's the guy. I love that guy. But yeah, you see and the you're like, guy. oh god, it's fucking <laughs> It comes back around, but initially when all these things blow up and get like funny and famous and stuff, it's usually just to make fun of the person. Yeah. And then you don't actually get to hear about them too much. But then like I forget whatever YouTube channel I was watching or something where they were like, oh, this is the actual guy. And he's like this dude who's just like actually loves just train information. I was like, no, now I feel bad. I know too much. Now I feel bad. <laughs> That's like Mark. Mark loves trains. Mark does love trains. He's a dude we work with. Yeah, weirdly enough, I don't know how someone becomes enthralled with trains and train cars, but I used to be into trains as a kid. I I still love the. Actually, here in Cincinnati, there's like the world's largest like tra model train museum. I don't know why we have it here, but Kristen and I went to go see it. It's really, it's really fucking. Cool. You, next time you, like, next time you guys go to Indy, stay in the. Uh, is it the Hyatt? downtown um yeah. i think it's a hyatt but you have to look they have they turn it's like the outside is like it's all old train cars and your hotel rooms are in the old train cars oh, that's dope oh, I think I'm about this yeah it's super cool I'll, i've never I'll stayed in it i'll be in cool. indy uh in november for a bodybuilding show Ooh, i'll be in august for a wedding what bodybuilding show uh, you have a big one in cincy isn't it, cincy where arnold classic is uh, no, Columbus is Columbus. classic, and I I am not competing in that. Why not? I'm too, I'm I'm fucking small, dude. I have a I actually like, have a medal from Arnold Classic. I won a medal at Arnold Classic. You would what like pole dancing, sucking dick? What, what what's taekwondo? I won a taekwondo tournament uh, at the Arnold Classic. All three at the same time. Dude, did, did you really? Yeah, I'm not. I no taekwondo shit. Pole dancing while sucking. Look, the <laughs> about to show us his move. Do you just... have that here? Why? No, I have this though. First damn you black belt. Holy fucking shit. nerd. <laughs> I'm a black belt. Jeez. I also I I was at a tournament once where I no one my there was no one my age group to fight. So they're like, Well, do you want to fight the person that won the older age group? Because they're still here. And I was like, Yeah, I'll fight them. So, you know, they're two years older than I am. And I knocked him out. <laughs> Let's go. And then I got a literal championship belt. Is that my brother's? Hell but it's yeah. a championship belt. And I'm like, this is the most badass thing ever. I would put $5, $5 down right now to see a clip of you knock somebody out. Because I can't fucking imagine that. Oh, so wait, hold on. You have a belt. I'll be right back. I have a, <laughs> I have a sword. I don't He's have got cool a... shit. I didn't do martial arts as a kid, you fucking assholes over here. Hey, well, no, maybe you should have had some, you know, some initiative. You ever think about <laughs> uh try growing up poor as fuck i well i did for a little bit so my parents went from like making good money to my dad losing his job and us having no money so i had like a mix but yeah it wasn't poor the whole time so you know i was blessed for a little bit <laughs> you know let me see if i can i have the video i'm gonna pull it up you're about to see it you're about Aaron to see it the skinny boy strength yeah no, but like that's the thing too. At the Arnold Classic, there was a place where they had a um, like a bag you could hit, and it would tell you how much power you had behind your your kick or your punch. Right? There was yeah. two grown men went before me, and I was like twelve years old at the time. Right? Ooh, that's a nice sword. He's gonna kill himself. Uh, <laughs> he's gonna unalive himself so I can't do that <laughs> in Minecraft. So, so I got this. This one was for um, what was this one for? Oh, this was just for my class. Wait, these are like so, awarded to you for something? Yeah, I, this is for winning my class in a bodybuilding classic physique. Oh, and then in bodybuilding. In bo they gave him a sword for bodybuilding. That's badass. And then this <laughs> is my sword for winning the show. Hell yeah. You fucking got Excalibur there. Jesus. Uh, uh, I like the form you have in that grip. Yeah, nice. Thank you. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh we all right. Well, that was a good stream, everybody. <laughs> no, here, wait, wait, wait. You ready? I'm in the Is blue. That you? Yeah, I'm in the blue. Yeah. 
Yo. <laughs> oh, God. That <laughs> slow-mo, too. Who filmed that? <laughs> yeah. That's right. He won his age group. He beat everyone else in his age group, and I kicked his fucking ass, okay? Don't try me. But... So at the Arnold Classic, they were doing, they had this setup where you could kick a bag or punch a bag and it would tell you how much power it had behind it. Cause they, you know, yeah, yeah. and like two grown men went in front of me. I'm 12 years old. They're like at least 20, right? They go up and they both like kick it and you know, they get their power readings and they sit back to like talk about whatever. And I go up and I kick it and I'm almost double their highest power for my one kick. And they're like, oh, that thing has to be broken. They're like, no, the, he just trains to do this. Like, he does every single fucking day. He probably throws five, at least 500 of these fucking kicks. All yeah. Aaron does when he fucking comes in here is just kick. kick. I just kick. Oh. <laughs> ah, yeah, ah. <laughs> just keep kicking. Your weak ass arms, dude. I don't ah, no any, punches, all kicks. I don't have any cool things that denote. Oh, pizza I also. Drink. I have a drink. I do have something else cool. You saw the first one I got. I actually got a second one. You see what this is? What is it, though? Uh, that's a check from the Pokemon Company International. <laughs> Why? <laughs> they paid me twice now. I got two checks from them. For what? So when I was opening all the cards, there was er I had like a few error packs. What is that, Newman? Oh. And they're supposed to send you packs, but they sent me an email and said, hey, we can't send you packs anymore. Uh, can we just send you a check for the value of the pack? So it's like a $5 check. Yes. Yeah. Is that to drink out of? Drinking horn. Yeah. And it cost me uh, $90 because it's an actual horn. That's pretty dope that it's an actual horn, though. That's, That's awesome. Yeah, but... Uh, you killed I an animal for that. It's kind of fucked, it. though. I literally just keep it in its holster on my wall because I'm like, That's cool. I don't need to drink out of something I can't put down. So yeah dude i will say i wonder how much i bet you could get that for a lot cheaper if you went to mexico <laughs> <laughs> no i say that because so when i went right I, my plane ticket was like 200 bucks for round trip which is awesome and then i like went to right before we crossed the border into cbx to take the get to the airport in tijuana i like transfer a hundred dollars into it's like almost two thousand pesos right I go there. I think I spent money on food once, but they were like always catering everything. Like it was just a huge party the whole time. Um, yeah. And so then I bought like a bracelet or something too. That was just like to commemorate that I went there just like something. And then, you know, I bought airport food. And so I bought food three times total and a bracelet and I came back and then transferred the money back. And I had $88. I spent 12 bucks <laughs> and that's including airport food. <laughs> When I've, I've heard that, yeah, from Mexico. So I, one of my favorite places to travel is uh, Thailand because uh, I know why. It's no, <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> but yes, but no. That lady boy. Have you seen the new TikTok trend where they're like? <laughs> no, I haven't. <laughs> I haven't been on TikTok in a while, in a minute. Oh my gosh, you uh, probably have a lot of TikToks for me. Yeah, I'm sure I do. I, I keep on, I, I get the notifications. I just, See, ignore them. he, like, so I, I would send him stuff that was like, uh, like more, you know, you know, the amount of times I've ended up on gay talk because of all the shit Aaron sends me. So I'll see something funny that is like about like, that's, you know, not straight. And I'm like, Matt would hate this. So I send it to him and then he goes, why do you send me all this kind of stuff? And that makes me want to send more of it to him. <laughs> so I just keep <laughs> He loves it. <laughs> I see so much gay shit on TikTok. I mean, it's entertaining. It's good content. I can't, I can't, you know, it's yeah. good content. I can only stay, yeah, but, once I see it, I can only stay on for like a few minutes and then I gotta go do other things. Yeah, other things. <laughs> <laughs> I can only handle a few no, minutes and I gotta go. I love, on. I love Thailand because it's just, it's so, it's 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 a little bit more expensive, obviously, to get there, and then obviously the whole time change and whatnot. It's it's a pain in the ass to get there, but things are so cheap. You can literally when I was I did I did like a community service there, and um, they literally say like an, a monthly salary. What? Sorry, I'm reading chat. Yeah, I did too. We read at the same time. Oh. You two thinks I'm gay because <laughs> my girlfriend like months ago. <laughs> 
Yeah, blame your girlfriend. Hey, come on now. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> All right, sorry, what were you saying? I We both, I saw oh, it, no, looked up, I, I, and I was chuckling a bit, and then I saw Newman laughing, and it was just like... <laughs> I have it on my phone, so it's like super far away. Yeah. So that's why. Um, But no, it, they say like a month salary, there's like $30. <laughs> 30 US dollars. Yeah. And, that's when you work remote, you go there and you live and work there and just work honestly, remote. <laughs> dude. Like, let me tell you that. I mean, it's, it is crazy. You can go to a market and just like... Um, I remember when I was flying there one time, we were, we stopped in Frankfurt, Germany for, you know, a layover and I got a bottle of water probably two times the size, or maybe it was about this big and it was like 10 us dollars. I mean, it was stupid cause it was in the airport. Yeah. Right. And then I landed in Thailand and bought like two liters worth of water for like 30 cents. Yeah. It's crazy. Like, <laughs> Like I had the other bottle still, you know, cause I was, it was, uh, I was drinking on the airplane and then I got off and bought a new one and it was like, I was like, there's no way in hell, but yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. International stuff. Sometimes how cheap, things yeah. are. but on the flip side, how expensive things can get. I wish things were cheap here. Yeah. <laughs> so gas went down a little bit here. So that's nice. Yeah, actually. Okay. I, you aren't gonna believe this, but the gas station I normally go to, it went down two cents. Hell yeah. We're down to like four cents. 63 i think here 463 holy shit. that's high for them like they they got to five dollars the gas station i go to right near work it's down down the road it's i think it's ca it capped at 5.99 for cash and then 635 or 637 for um card but yeah, then it feels i like luck if you find anything under five dollars and do you remember? Do you remember the, at Rose when it got down to one eighty nine at that shell? Yes, and I, at I that think, time I had I took a picture. I had twenty five cents off every gallon at Shell gas stations. Oh my god! <laughs> you had it for like so, damn. No, that was like I I shit you not. I took a picture of that because I'm like one eighty nine. It was like we were pulling up probably from a TBR, uh, you know, and I like rolled up and I was like, "There's no fucking way." There's no fucking way. I went to that gas station way too much because it was the it was a Shell Circle K, so they had yeah. the uh, eighty five cent. Well, it was eighty five cents after tax for the uh, forty four yeah. ounce of anything. Any forty four yeah, ounce. I, I oh, spent yeah. fifty two dollars one day there. And How? Go. I don't think there's fifty two dollars uh, worth of stuff in that bitch. <laughs> I was <laughs> not sober. Okay, that adds that at all. Fight a fucking gang of short people for gas prices like that right now. And yeah, so would people in Indiana, because they th when it got it got up to like they almost caught up to here in here in San Diego. They were like five thirty at one point, I think. And I was like, damn, I was like, oh shit, that's like close to us. But then I today downtown, I was going home and it was like six fifty for cash, and I was like, yeah. I think well, we only got up to like five. I think we, I don't even know if we broke five. Maybe some place in, in Ohio did, but I don't think locally yeah. around here. I did. That's because Ohio kind of sucks. People out here would fucking drink the lifeblood of children for gas prices like that. Uh, 468 or something like that. I think I saw it that Kristen told me today. Yeah, yeah. They're used to like, it's, it was normally around two to three bucks for like years and years. And when it hit three, people were upset in Indiana. They were like, what the fuck? And now it's yeah. like almost six and they're like, they're losing their shit. That's kind of how it's, yeah, I don't know. I just remember my grandpa always talking about, I, he, my grandpa used to be like, oh yeah, I remember gas was 16 cents a gallon. I'm like, you know what, grandpa? I'm like, fuck off, grandpa. That's I'm fucked. Go you. fuck yourself, grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the real world. Yeah. Multiply that by 300. I think. <laughs> That's right. Am I right on the math there? I don't know. I don't remember what you said. 16 cents times oh. 300. You're the engineer. You should you should know math. You should calculate this shit for us, Aaron. Wait, no. Yeah, maybe maybe that was. There. You're the engineer here, dog. You should know. No, yeah, I was off. I think it's only thirty that's needed. Three hundred makes that. That's forty eight. So yeah, I was I was I was one decimal off. I was one decimal off. I'm gonna be honest with you, <laughs> Mister Engineer. May your grandpa Good could also me. buy an acre for like two k. True, true, true. You know what? Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Okay. You're an optical engineer and you can't even see your future. You know what I mean? So like, I don't know. I'm just kidding. That was corny. Um, but 
No, you're doing. Wait, did you say cornea or was that corny? I, I wish I would have said cornea. I wish, but he's not that type. Uh, like, oh my God, I've never seen a dad joke stack so much. <laughs> I should have. <laughs> I'm glad it sounded. I should have just said that I did. I should have just said it. I should have been like, yeah, that's, I did You're say that. You're an optical engineer and you can't even see your future. Mm. That's just corny. <laughs> that, I got to write that down one sec. <laughs> but, but it is funny. I know he hates it because optical engineer has nothing to do with vision. Um, Nothing, <laughs> but I always loved it. I love to do it now because I know actually, actually, actually Johnson and Johnson. I did interview for with them for a position to work on like contacts, but it Ooh. was like. Did you ask them if their baby powder is made of real babies? No, I forgot to ask that. Mm. That that was that was gonna be my fourth inter- my fourth follow up question, but we ran out of time in the yeah. interview. You know, they don't. That's they yeah. they did, they wanted to cut you off. They knew you were gonna ask, so they had to. They don't want yeah. people to know the no, truth. I, they, I just. I just don't think I was qualified, so they just really didn't want me. I don't even know why they interviewed me. That's how I feel. I I had an interview where it was like they asked me a question, and it's not on my resume that I know this stuff, and it's not like in the description that I need to know this. And they're like, "Oh, so how would you do this thing that you've never heard of?" Blah blah blah. And I'm like, "What the fuck are you talking about? Like, why would you ask? Like, what?" That was nice of the interview process that I just went through. They didn't ask me. I prepared for all that. Like, I had. I, I spent hours preparing for marketing questions because obviously I don't have any true marketing experience, but that's kind of what I'm trying to get into. Yeah. But I like prepared for that. And literally it was just like one of my interviews with, I've had now three 30 minute interviews for this position. And like one of the interviews was just like, Oh, so tell me about like how you got into shoes. And I literally spent like 20 minutes talking about shoes. I was like, I, and they're like, Oh, do you have any questions for us? I was like, I don't even know. How, shoes. What? what? <laughs> That's fine. Literally, she was Random like. Random aside, sorry. I'm I'm looking at your stream chat uh, viewers, and mm-hmm. you had you have someone called Mogul Mail in your chat. I don't know who that is. Why? Okay. Am I supposed to know who that is? Uh, do you know who Ludwig is? Yeah, I know his Mogul moves. I thought was his like brand. Maybe he's a Ludwig fan. Ludwig, 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 Ludwig fan. Yeah, Ludwig's just kicking Ludwig. In your fucking chat. Yeah, what right if now? it was? I'm like, yo, Ludwig. Big fan. So I'm also fun. another just normal white dude. I would like to be <laughs> at your level. All right, I didn't mean to derail. I was just no. Like, you're good. I think we need to probably uh, call it. Yeah, call it. It's been an hour forty two minutes. It was a good first one. A little slow to start, but then we exploded fucking like we always do. Slow to, insane slow to start. Town stories. <laughs> we started with like depression and therapy. <laughs> yeah, that's a slow topic. That's a serious. Oh, Look, we get that we're just showing our range here. We can talk about yeah. serious topics, and we can also talk about not serious topics. You know what I mean? Slow to start would have been like, "How was your day, guys? Oh, it was really boring. I, you know, I jerked know. off eighteen times today. I only did it once know, so that far. That would have brought up a lot of questions." It was only 16 like, today, but you know whatever. You anyway, I do it once. I get that home from work. God, I would just, just, I just go fucking raw until you, know, you just can't feel out anything. And fucking nut three, because I couldn't imagine. My, hair, just, I beat hair, my just, shit just, raw. I beat it raw. Fucking. Anyway, we should, let's end. Let's end on this before it gets powdered milk coming. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> All right, let's. Uh, that was it, stream. Uh, until next time. Peace. Peace.